Yo, what's going on, YouTube? This your boy, Comrade Zero Spike, back again once again. And today, people, today we are here for another episode, episode 48 of Osama Sentai King Oja. And we are at the final stretch, people. We are here. We are not whoa, what about whoa? We are here and we are ready <laughs> to take down Duck Dad. I mean, they trying to, but the homeboy is just throwing aoe's freaking everywhere like this is not cool like it's it, it just it, you got all these freaking planetary attacks i mean yeah it makes sense but oh my god man like you just throw at everything <laughs> but in this episode we see that our kings are trying to figure out a way to like defeat Doug dad we see that uh yadma has a plan to basically do some do some Tengen Topa Gurren Lagann stuff and we are going to use King Oja and King Oja's multiple forms to over basically overwhelm Doug Dad and that they basically have made a way to fight Doug Dad when he's like in his big universal form like when he's like really 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 big so they want so basically they're going to use all the symbols that they have but they don't have the immortality from jeremy since they use since they already used it to uh defeat um um Grody, uh Gordy. so they decided they were going to use um another like basically like another way to have like immortality so if they have immortality they basically have like endless like stamina and stuff like that to fight him off because you know he's uber powerful so they decided they're going to try and find a way to open the gates of the gates of hell not really gates of hell but like the gates to the land of the dead <laughs> and they're going to talk to rain uh Rainiel, the the basically the villain from the one basically the villain from the movie um who's like essentially one of the first kings and they were basically going to ask him uh could he you know have some kind of way to have like the eternal life and things like that but out of nowhere that's when Doug dad just pops in and just appears they are sitting on get us thrown i'm like man if you don't get off my freaking like for real like he and he sits there and say hey you know what if i just decided to just beat y'all up right now like what if i just went ahead and decided to just go ahead and annihilate y'all you know so everybody just no words no nothing they just picked up their swords transformed and we all fighting this dude so so they're all fighting him while they're fighting him we see that the rest of the um basically the rest of the other kingdoms are basically starting to evacuate because duck dad has called up a bunch of button rock well a bunch of old dead button rock uh to you know start attacking everybody so everybody basically decides to uh evacuate we see our for our cr kings are still fighting him and they're getting their butts kicked and so he knocks them back in back he knocks them back in their civilian forms and then that's when they decided uh to ask yama and say hey if you had 24 hours could you you know do you know the whole mech stuff and he was like uh yeah if i had a thousand miracles <laughs> so they decided to activate uh evacuation zero and evacuation zero uh is to evacuate every single like person from every all the kingdoms and then when they it, but they're not going into the land in between they're not going to the bug rock kingdom they're actually get they're actually gathering on the um uh, calcestis castle uh castle zord and they're all just gonna fly off into space so we see that they have the all the retainers have a backpack which i really want i want one of these freaking book bags but they ended up uh getting they ended up uh, all having like all having this one book bag that has like the symbol of their uh symbol of their kingdom on it and they all evacuate to this one place and they see the cow and they see that um Kakastis, um the Kakastis uh zord the ship it comes there and they're getting ready and they basically have to say that they basically hear from Raculous that they have to get on it. But Duga's like, nah, I don't think what you, what, what you what's going on? And even uh Yamaris Yamaris retainer is like, you know something, don't you? Like, tell us what's going on. So that's what Duga's like, hey, forgive me, King Gita. And he opens this, he opens the backpack, and then all the other retainers open their backpack, and turns out we see that the crown and all the other um symbols are in their backpacks to their perspective to their like you know to their perspective uh retainer so everybody has so the retainers have all the symbols but uh jeremy's retainer he has uh jeremy's uh venom venom mix 
and then the venom mix end up shooting out something and then we end up getting like a projection like you know a projection of all the kings telling everybody to this is the plan basically this is the plan they were gonna um they don't have the right thing to use for uh eternal life so they want everybody to get on the ship and basically go to a new planet you know continue to live continue to to continue to make this uh continue to live on and things like that on a new planet and i wonder i was thinking they were going to say something like hey just go to earth you know like i was thinking that hey we can you all just can go to earth and like you know live on earth and then they, they just said a whole new planet so i'm just like you know, they just, uh, I felt like, you know, they just go to Earth. Like, there's other Sentai there, and, the, you know, the freaking other Sentai there. So, it's like, hey, you know, let's, let's go to Earth. But, nah. So, <laughs> they basically say, like, you, you know, no. Like, no one agrees to doing that. And even, you know, even uh, Raculous is like, I don't, I don't, I don't want to do this. But, we got to do what they ask us to do. Like, I mean, I, I mean, there's no one right now who can match them like there's no one who's who kids who'd be able to surpass them for millennia and the rest of the retainers is like so they just want us to go to this other planet and then like find a way to defeat the galactic insects and he's like no we'll never be able to do that <laughs> like i don't want to like we shouldn't like do that you know we should actually go off and like actually help them and you know reckless is like you know what you're right like everybody gets riled up and everybody's like yeah let's go ahead and then actually go and help the kings and just when they're on their way, they, you know, the hat guy, the big loud dude. Yeah, he's like, don't let them go. We won't let them. <laughs> we won't be able to survive without those freaking symbols. You know, take them from them. And then out of nowhere, another hat guy. But he's all beat up and bloody and stuff. He screams out and says, hey, that guy's an imposter. And that's when <laughs> that's when little bro that's when little bro is like hey this one over here he's louder he has to be the real one and i'm like <laughs> wow you guys see differentiate who's louder than that but yeah so turns out the other hat guy that said take the symbols was actually comogen and i was wondering where comogen was like comogen hasn't been around like he's been around but he hasn't really been doing anything i guess this was he was out here doing this so yeah turns out Comogen was pretending to be hat guy and that's when he attacks everyone and he's that's when Raculous ends up attacking him and Raculous is like I owe you a lot of payback and I'm about to do it he just when he gets ready to transform the gates of the, the you know the gates open to the land of the dead and out walks big man death in the rock and i was like yeah let's do it i was like oh, okay he's he better beat the crap out of Comogen because Man, I didn't. I never thought we see. Well, I kind of felt like we would see Death Knock again at some point. But yeah, man, I would. I would have liked to see if freaking Death Knock and Die Orc walked out. Yeah, that would be freaking awesome. <laughs> so yeah, episode ends off right there. Basically, the episode ends off right there. And uh, next episode, I'm getting a lot of Avengers Endgame vibes from it. It really does feel like that but yeah we're in the final stretch now this episode was actually really good i was tearing up sometimes in this episode especially the speech with the retainers giving to uh Raculous. but man we're in the end game now <laughs> and um i don't know I, I i i don't i'm trying to figure i'm trying to see if there's anything i really felt like that was kind of wrong with this episode i don't know i mean i kind of that will you know the retainers didn't want to go to another planet because they felt like we'll just be repeating uh we'll just be repeating what happened 2000 years ago and just become an invasive species to another planet and they basically just be waiting to die because like if the kings don't defeat doug dead then he's just gonna go around he's he's obviously gonna end up finding them again and his whole thing about cleaning up the universe so he's event he, he would eventually still find them again and you know he and also doug dead is like kind of like omnipotent so he probably find them even before they even got to another planet so like either way it's st it still would feel like they will be in danger for like ever and they'd be like on the run like forever so i don't see what i don't see how them going to another planet would really solve anything you know like it would <laughs> like it wouldn't really solve anything about them going to another planet because they're eventually just going to be found again and um but yeah i was also wondering like Raculous didn't 
Miraculous could have transformed at any time in this freaking episode. Like, you should have just transformed right off the bat, yo. Like, he's, you got your sword back. Like, he wasn't transforming, and the crown was there. You could have, like, like, he has, like, if he really, like, gets into a fight fight, like, he has the crown there because he can use it. He's royalty, and he has his sword back. So, like, he has some power behind him. He got some kind of, you know, he can really, really fight back, and it's reckless. So, come on. Of course, he's going to be, you know, up there. But, um... But yeah, guys, what do you guys think about this episode? Because we're in the, we're like the final stretch of the thing, and I'm just sitting here like everybody's all beat up and everybody's all messed up. Like the episode started off with uh, with the aftermath of Duck Dad doing a freaking meteor strike and basically annihilating our annihilating our team. Like, and all the person left standing is freaking Gita, and Gita's like, oh man, listen. I, I'm still up because <laughs> you know it makes sense for Gita. Makes sense because you know get us technically immortal. Cause he's technically a child of Doug Dad, but um, but yeah, this episode was very very cinematic. It really did. It was like some of these scenes, some of these fights. Like it felt like I was watching like the ending of a movie. Like it was really dope. But um, other than that. You guys let me know down in the comment section below what you guys think of this episode of Ultimate Sentai King Oja. I guess we got one more episode after this, and then we'll do the whole series with you. But other than that, I'm going to see you guys next time. Make sure to like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell. As remember, as I always say, guys, stay henshined.